Hi there, Sarah Rose here, and I just wanted to pop in today and share with you a story about how I healed my gut naturally. Okay, so if you've been following me for a while, you know I went through a period of about four or five years where I was completely sick, I was completely stressed out, and I was dealing with so many different health issues. Um, I had everything from IBS to Candida to SIBO to 28 food allergies. I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't go to parties. I was the sick girl. I was the one that was super restricted and it was causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. And I was bouncing around between different naturopathic doctors to find out what was wrong with me because mainstream medical community really doesn't even consider Candida a thing. And for IBS, they often just prescribe antidepressants. And when I learned that, I was obviously gravitating towards a more holistic approach, which I always do anyways. But, um, I, so I started going around to different naturopathic doctors just to get some advice on what was happening with my body and why I was so sick. At this point, I was retaining a lot of water. I was retaining a lot of extra weight. I was super fatigued. I had low energy. I was super moody. Um, everything was going awry and my gut was a mess. My gut floor was a mess. Everything was a mess. I, I was the sick girl at all the parties and you know, you get the point. So maybe you can relate to this. And I looked over today, the other day when I was cleaning my kitchen cabinet, um, these are some of the pills and prescriptions that the naturopathic doctors prescribed me. And this was the best naturopathic doctor, one of the best naturopathic doctors in the country for gastrointestinal, uh, for gastro, um, which is what I was going for, for gut health, right? And as you can see, I didn't take them. I didn't take these. These had piled up in the back of my cabinet. So these have been sitting there for a few years because I have this little corner in the way back of the pantry that I never went to. And I found those the other day. And so I decided to share this story with you because so many of the women that follow me and reach out to me, they suffer from the same issues. Surprise, surprise. And so I want to share a little bit on how I healed myself naturally. Um, at a certain point, I was so sick that I was um, constantly getting the flu after the flu, you know, one right after another. I was low energy. At one point, I um, wound up in the emergency room because I went to urgent care on the weekend because I was having trouble breathing. And they said, your lungs are filling up with water. You have pneumonia. You need to go to the ER. So I went to the ER and, 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 and got treatment for that. And I was like, all right, there's this is ridiculous, right? So... I went back to the naturopath, one of the naturopathic doctors that I had an appointment with, and um, in addition to prescribing all of these things, she said one thing that clicked with me that I took to heart, and this is the game changer, and this is what I want to share with you today. She said, you need to change your lifestyle. And then she went on and on about the protocol that we needed to follow and all of this, but that stuck with me. And I was like, okay, I can do that. At that point, I was super stressed. And... Um, I decided to go home and do exactly that, change my lifestyle. Now, I didn't recognize it at the time, but you know, the correlation between my lifestyle and how my gut was affected, right? But at that point in time, I was super stressed. Everything was a struggle. It didn't matter whether it was my relationships or money or my health or my body or my career. Um, I was in a very um, strict state of controlling, uh, at trying to control everything around me, trying to control outside circumstances around me in order for me to feel better or for, or for me to feel safe or comfortable. So I was constantly always trying to figure stuff out and muscle my way through things, but nothing was coming easy. So there was a lot of frustration. There was a lot of, basically I was in controlling over mode, you know, like just totally controlling all different aspects of my life. I didn't know at the time, but as I started to heal myself naturally and stepped even more onto the holistic and spiritual path and had a spiritual awakening in 2013 and started studying, you know, things like the chakra system and everything, I recognized the correlation between the solar plexus chakra, which is the chakra right um, below your rib cage, that is your power center. It is your ego center. It is your center of willpower. It is where you align your, it is how you align your willpower. And in the center, you have a couple of choices. You can align your willpower with your higher self, or you can align your willpower with your ego. Your ego is the fear-based portion of your consciousness, I guess you could say, but it's the one that wants to force 
and struggle or, or figure things out and control things and is afraid to let go and is afraid to just let things flow. And so I was in the opposite state of allowing. I was very, very, very ego dominant. I was very, very, very um, aligned with the ego when it comes to how I was asserting my willpower in the, in the universe, in the world. And so I was not go with the flow. I was not in a state of allowing. I was not in a state of letting go. I was not in a state of just trust and faith and in, in that what's happening for me is for my best good and that I'm controlling it and that I have I actually can create it from the inside out. None of that stuff was even in my radar at the moment. All I knew was I was sort of like in survival mode. I every single thing was dire straits and I had to force and I had to um you know, figure things out and um, step up and be very competitive and very, you know, forceful. And I think you get the point. And so the solar plexus chakra is also aligned, is also associated with the digestive organs and things like that. So as I started, you know, all of these things started to make sense as I started to heal myself. I didn't know this when I stepped on the path to heal myself, though. This was stuff that I uncovered later on. The only thing that I knew after she told me I needed to change my lifestyle was that I was going to no longer be the victim. Your solar plexus chakra is also where you tend to play the victim or you'll go the opposite extreme and you'll play the polar opposite and you'll play the tyrant um, and you'll bounce back and forth between those two roles. Um, so I went home that day and I decided I'm not going to play the victim anymore. That's the only part I knew about this whole solar plexus chakra thing or, you know, I didn't know anything about that at the time. All I knew is I wasn't going to play the victim. Later I learned it was all tied together, right? And so I no longer decided to see myself as sick. And this was a game changer. I no longer decided to see myself as sick. I decided to see myself as healing. And this was a challenge at first because I had already programmed and trained everybody around me on how to treat me as a victim because I was showing up at the parties with a victim story. I couldn't do things because I had a victim story. I was not coming from an empowered place. And so everybody that was in my environment was reacting to me um, from what I was putting out and treated me like a victim. So when people started to ask me questions, oh, how are you doing? Oh, can you eat this? Oh, do you need something special? Do you need something different? Um, my responses to them would change. I would no longer, oh yeah, I can't, no, this isn't. It was more like I choose, I chose not to do certain things because I'm in a process of healing versus I was choosing to stay stuck as a victim, right? So there's two totally different vibrations trying to avoid sickness. And that's what I was doing for those first five years was just trying to avoid the sickness, trying to avoid being the sick girl, trying to avoid being ill versus aligning with wellness. Those are two different vibrations. And I was doing everything under the sun at this point to be well. I mean, I was going above and beyond. I was what I would call the healthiest sick person you'd ever known because I was doing everything. I was doing the massages, the lymphatic massages, the steam saunas, the infrared technology, the, you know, the colon hydrotherapy, the acupuncture, the aromatherapy, the, the yoga, the clean eating. I was doing all of it. I was already very clean eating even. None of it was healing me because I was still looking at all of these things outside of myself as the source for my own healing, which really didn't take place until I allowed myself to be the source of healing. Does this make sense? Is this resonating with you? I hope it, it is resonating with you. If you if you can relate to this, please drop your comments or questions below this video, wherever you're watching it. Um, and um, so I shifted my vibration in that moment when I decided I was no longer gonna be the victim. And instead of um, being sick, I was now in the process of healing. Everything was a process of healing. I started to learn, you know, you can rejuvenate your cells. Your organs literally regrow themselves. And I think your intestines can regrow and like, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't ha you know, have the stats on this, but I, I, I believe I read it was like three or four weeks or something. You can almost grow like a new intestine. And I was like, well, done, sold. Like if it, my body's constantly rejuvenating itself, I'm in a state of healing. It's just a matter of me clearing away the stuff that's not serving me and making empowered choices to align with what is service, serving me, not from a victim mindset, like I'm trying to avoid being sick, but from an empowered mindset that I'm gonna do this thing. This is, this is I'm doing this no matter what, like I'm in a state of healing. So when people would start to ask me, how do you feel or what's going on with you or blah, 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 I'm like, I'm great. 
each day gets better and better. I feel better than the day before and um, looking forward to being able to incorporate more things into my diet. Everything's moving along perfectly. Quite a different mindset, quite a different story, quite a different quite different words that I'm speaking into existence by choice versus the victim story I used to tell. Like, oh, I don't know, I just, I'm not gonna have that, no, I need to restrict myself, I, I need to stay very strict and that's just not good for me so I'm not gonna have it and that kind of stuff and it was just a very restrictive and very closed off and very victim. And that shift made all the difference to the point, and here's an interesting thing that I'm gonna come full circle in. And, and I wanna state, obviously for the record, I am not a doctor. I'm not telling you not to take medical advice. I'm not telling you not to take any prescriptions that are prescribed to you if that's what you're feeling called to do. I'm not a doctor and you should seek medical attention for anything that's ailing you if that's what you're feeling called to do. I am saying that there is a connection between your mind and your body, and I am saying that your thoughts connect with your body, and I am saying that your emotions connect with your body, and your perception of what is true for you, your perception of your self-identity, of who you are identifying with. Are you identifying with the victim? Are you identifying with the hero? Which one in your story are you identifying with right now? This is a game changer. This is what's gonna make the difference in your healing journey, and this is what's gonna take your power back, and boom. So I decided I was gonna heal naturally and that's just what was gonna happen. And I had a checkup like six months later. I didn't even book my next appointment. I went like six months of just moving along, changing my lifestyle, which looked like this. I changed my thoughts. I changed my self identity of how I perceived myself in a moment when I made a decision, it shifted. And then I changed my diet, what I was eating naturally, not from a victim place, but from an empowered place. And I started meditating. I started going inward in that order. I changed my self identity and my thoughts of how I was perceiving myself. I started eating in accordance with being empowered and then I um, started meditating all at once but in that order. And I started going within. And so six months went by of me just transforming from the inside out, just feeling better. All of a sudden my energy levels were up. All of a sudden I could, you know, like, it was just like revival was happening and there was nothing that was able to get me down because I was moving into such a positive mindset because I, I was viewing everything from my healing hero story. I was no longer the victim. I went back six months later just for a checkup because I wanted to see where I was, but I already knew I'm going to have the best gut flora balance that anybody's ever seen on the planet because I just, I know that I knew it. I just knew it. I knew that that's what was going to happen because that was the intention that I set and then I aligned with it. And I went back to the doctors and um, she gave me this um, solution. You might be aware of this if you're familiar with all of this testing, these SIBO testing and that, you know, where you have to blow in a tube and then it, it monitors uh, the gut floor in your gut. And so I did a breath test and got the results back and then she called me in to go over the results and she said that I had an A plus gut flora. Like she took a snapshot of what the results were and she said it was an A plus gut flora and she was going to be using it to teach um, the gut rebalancing. She was gonna be using my gut as the case study. And I was not surprised, but so joyful and it was so self-validating that I did this. I did this on my own. I didn't do this with the prescriptions that, that were prescribed. I didn't do this with anything other than I was guided to certain supplements that I took and they were all natural and healthy and something that should be incorporated anyways if, you know, um, supplements I don't feel are 100% necessary at all if you're really, if you're eating really good, but for, m for m me, rejuvenating and you know healing my body I felt that they were necessary so I took things like omega-3 supplements and I took natural you know things to help me you know boost my immune system and stuff like that and mainly through food though mainly through whole unprocessed foods um, anyways long story short when she gave me this news and she delivered this news to me um, I let her know that I actually didn't take any of the medications that she gave me because she wanted to use my gut flora as a snapshot. And then she was taken back by that a little bit. I could tell um, that she was shocked because she just saw, like she said, 
uh, a self-proclaimed a plus this was she proclaimed it as an a plus perfect gut flora snapshot but it didn't involve any of the protocol she gave me other than her advice and so I could see she was taken back at first because I didn't follow any of the protocol she wrote down for me but I did tell her I, I took your advice to heart and she said what was what was that and I said you said I needed to change my lifestyle and so that's what I did and I shared with her what I did and at the end of that appointment she wanted to prescribe me more prescriptions so I didn't have any relapses. This was after six months being on my own, being healthy, doing everything naturally, coming back, showing through, you know, documented proof that I'm healed. Um, and then wanting me to continue to take more supplements and giving me more protocol to keep from relapsing. I refused that. I said, I don't really think I need that. I just did all this and I feel great and I took control of my life and I've changed it just like you said and so here I am, A plus gut flora. I don't really feel I need anything to relapse. I'm not buying into that story. That, I mean, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with doctors or natu even naturopaths or anything like that. I love them. I go to naturopaths. If I'm going to get sick, that's the first place I'll go for a consult so I can make sure that I'm on the same page with what I'm feeling and what they're seeing and make sure, you know, that there's some congruence there with, you know, that, you know, I'm going to seek out opinions from people that are more educated or knowledgeable in certain areas, right? But I'm going to be my own health advocate in this process. I research and I study and I make sure I know my shit on what is happening within my body and I know how I feel. But I think I can, sh I can, I think you can see like right there in that moment, had I decided that I wanted to take the prescription to make sure that I didn't relapse, I would have immediately put myself back in fearful victim mindset. Now I'm trying to avoid being sick, right? Versus aligning with wellness, two totally separate vibrations. And so I declined. It wasn't necessary. And this was, um, God, I don't even know, six years ago now, maybe seven years ago that I went through this process, maybe, maybe six. Um, and now I'm still, I haven't relapsed. You know, I'm in the healthiest shape of my life. The older I get, it's like the more energy I have and I've completely healed. I can eat whatever I want. And like I said, um, even though you naturally become more sensitive to things like chemicals and fragrances and things like that as you raise your vibration and as you start to awake and your, your vibration rises, you become more sensitive to pollutants and toxins and fragrances and chemicals, like I said, and foods that are harmful. So I choose healthy things, but I am in the healthiest place of my life because it's a lifestyle. It wasn't a one and done kind of thing. It was, it, I shifted and changed my lifestyle. And more importantly than that, I shifted and changed my mindset from a victim mindset to a growth mindset, right? To a constantly, I'm aligning with wellness mindset versus, um, you know, trying to avoid victimhood. And so I'm going to wrap this up with one other quick little story. And um, this is back when I was very much a food advocate and I was all, you know, trying to avoid everything, which I still avoid, you know, GMOs and all this, but I started, I uh, started a, a group called Non-GMO Phoenix and was, was a food advocate and I went to some of the Monsanto marches and things like that and I was actually asked to, to head up some of like the um, promotional campaigns for Prop 37 and stuff like that and to help promote some of that stuff um, when it was on the ballot in California, but I declined from that. Because when I was going around to the Monsanto marches, I recognized, and I was teaching classes at the library for free where I would have 30 people show up and I would teach them on how to eat healthy and how to avoid GMOs and I would educate them on the history of this and the history of food and things like that. And I got the public screening rights for the future of food and all of these different documentaries and I would host these community events. And it was a lot of fun, but what I noticed when I was going to a lot of these events is there were a lot of people angry. And there were a lot of people like focused on what they needed to avoid or restrict. And at that point I decided, you know what, that didn't feel aligned anymore. I no longer want to teach people how to avoid being sick or how to avoid, and it wasn't about sickness or avoid certain things. I would rather, like avoiding GMOs, I would rather just teach people how to be healthy. 
So it was a mind, it, it was a, it was a shift. It was a perception shift. I can teach people avoid this. It's bad. Avoid this. It's bad. Avoid this. It's bad. Avoid this. It's bad. And I still include that in one of my popular webinar trainings, a, a list of all the things that are toxic that you can avoid. But it, the spin on it is not about avoiding it from like, you have to restrict yourself and you're a victim. It's more about empowering yourself to live a healthy lifestyle. It's two different vibrations on how to approach that. And so this is what I wanted to bring with you today because I see this a lot with women that follow my pages or on my newsletter and even in my coaching program Evolve that deal with um, gut-related, stress-related health issues such as IBS, candida, you know, even some immune deficiency things. Like your gut is your immune system. So anything that spawns, you know, anything that, you know, you know, deals with your immunity and things like that are going to be closely directly related to your gut. So for me, gut health has been a very important thing. And I naturally, uh, women that are stuck in this forceful, frustrated, controlling, uh, ego dominant, um, overpowering, um, misaligned masculine energy that is aligning them with force in their, in their, solar plexus chakra instead of aligning with their higher self which is all about allowing and receiving and flow and things like that and perfect timing and trust this is what i see happening and they all have you know the ones that resonate with me and show up on my pages and in my newsletter and in my inbox and in my programs they have these stress related gut related health issues and it's not about healing your body from the outside with a prescription or a pill or even all of the naturopathic things that I was doing. You know, I said that I was doing aromatherapy and acupuncture and all these different things. It's not about that per se, right? It's about recognizing the healer within yourself. It's about shifting your mindset. It's about shifting your perception and your self identity. I think if you look up um, Candida in the You Can Heal Your Life book from Louise Hay, you'll see that it has to deal with control issues. And, you know, so you can apply this to your life, whether you're dealing with gut health or any other kind of ailment. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I know what it's like to have all of these different kinds of ailments because I don't. I can say, you know, Louise Hay, for example, she wrote a book, You Can Heal Your Life, where she was diagnosed with cancer and she only had a few months to live or uh, yeah, a few months or maybe it was a year or two to live. I don't remember. Um, and she ended up living an ent her whole life and she healed herself naturally through shifting her mindset and doing healthy things to make sure she was clean clearing the toxins from her lymph system. And she was she had a cancer diagnosis and a death sentence. And she did all of those changes on her own. And she can, she'll attest to that in her book that you can check out, which I highly recommend. It's been a huge influence in my life. If you haven't read that yet, it's called You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. So anyways, I wanted to leave that with you today. And if this is resonating with you, if you got any value from this, I would love to hear from you. Drop a comment below this video, whether you're watching it on you know, Instagram or Facebook or my YouTube channel. And if you're on, you know, DM me if you have something private you want to discuss. I would love to hear from you. And if you're ready to transform your life and you're ready to take your real, you know, transform from the inside out and recognize that your inner, re your outer reality is a reflection of your inner reality. The nature of your relationships, the, you know, your, your, your finances, your house, your body, your career, you know, everything outside of you is a reflection of your inner reality. And when you take code, control and your power back and you begin to shift from within first you're going to start to raise your vibration inward and then everything else that's meant to match that vibration is going to flow to you so you just keep raising your vibration and then everything else that matches that vibration flows to you and you raise your vibration more and everything that matches that vibration flows to you if you continue to seek things outside of yourself to fix you and heal you and you don't recognize that the healer is within first and foremost what you're doing is you're saying I don't have the power to raise my own vibration. I don't have the power to heal myself and I need someone else or something else to heal me. You are giving away your power and you will always be chasing the carrot in a victim mindset if that's the case. And so I hope this video finds you well. I hope you got value from it. You know, I would love to hear from you. And you can always check out my website if you want to jump in the Evolve program or you can visit the link in my bio if you're on Instagram or below this video, wherever you're watching it. My website is sarah-rose.net. There's a link to Evolve there if you click on work with me. Um, and I'll also include the link to Evolve um, below this video or in the caption wherever you're watching this. Namaste.